This is the Monument Valley AML Site 213. This was done in three phases. The first phase was the stabilization, eliminating the hazards, the op open portals, uh, the high walls. That's when they brought in all the mine waste back into the pit area and kind of uh, smoothed it out and contoured it. Navajo AML, in their soil classification, they cleaned up the 25 picocuri per gram of uh, radium-226. Where we're 95, about 95% 95 done with the sites on the Navajo Nation before uh, Navajo EPA decided they were some areas they needed to clean up to background or five picocuries. The contractor came in and after the Class A cover, we they had a receipt with the na na native vegetation and. Um, one of the uh, earlier ideas that we had was to uh, uh, apply some surfactant, dust suppression, where it, uh, the upper layer would be crusted over. But uh, our visitors, the cattle, they came on, they started walking on it, breaking up that crust, and then eventually all of our top cover blew away. So we had to come back in there and then use the uh, more sturdier red sand to or uh, our 18 inch cover. Under the first phase is where we addressed the uh, physical hazard that was up on top. During the second phase, the mine waste extended from here out to the edge of the sand dunes out in there. And during the second phase, they used that heavier equipment like the scraper and then after a while, they used that large uh, end dumps. And we had a ramp that was coming down from there through here and the scrapers would make about a mile and a half loop coming down they'd pick up the material haul it all the way around down to the bottom then come back up and dump it up in here in the, with the other pot, mine waste up here and um, we determined that some areas were inaccessible that mine waste that's still here the readings are not that much higher than our cutoff limit we did install some structures there to prevent a direct flow through this canyon to uh, spread further contamination. And down below you'll see some rock structures, some drop structures, some gabions to hold back the water. The hillside behind me, it was another AML site, this area right here. We actually had a vertical or incline shaft that came in from that area and to these portals that were going into the side of the canyon. And that was another part of our project for this area. Here I want to point out some of our uh, methods for uh, controlling some of the erosion. We built in these drainage or these gabion structures to where it's draining in a certain way in one direction and then at the same time the structures reduce the flow to where it's not just shooting down an angle creating a kind of a canyon. Even though it's working successfully keeping the water in one area and it seems like there's uh, some some erosion that's developing off to the side. Then we have another one that's up above us that uh, is starting to fail, and that will probably again be on our maintenance project.